Today's episode is devoted to those of us who have contracted coronavirus and as a result have lost our senses of taste and smell. Not being able to taste food has been a very challenging, frustrating experience, but I did learn three positives from that. Number one is that it's much easier to eat healthier. Number two is that meals can be made a lot cheaper. And three, the most important thing is that you can literally eat whatever you want, like a raw onion or raw cinnamon. It doesn't matter. Everything tastes exactly the same. So the meal that we're going to make today, a oh, burnt. You can still sense burning sensation, so that's actually not a good idea. Don't eat raw and cinnamon. The meal that we're gonna to make today is a white bean and winter squash pureed soup. Um, this is super healthy. It has tons of proteins, fiber, healthy carbohydrates, and this entire meal all together costs, which will last five days, it costs a total of $11.50. So let's get to it. Oh. Now, before I start preparing the rest of the ingredients, I wanted to stop and take a moment to recognize the true hero of this dish, beans. Beans are a food that gets no credit, which is a shame because they're a superfood. And all you have to do is show a little respect to beans and you'll become a superhuman. And my favorite type of bean is navy bean, obviously, which is far superior to its close cousin beans, the army bean, the air force bean, and the marine corps bean. Bean jokes, I've got an unlimited supply. Now, let's get serious for a moment. When you've lost your sense of taste, what types of dishes do you have? What's the point of even eating at all? I mean, other than to stay alive, of course, if you're into that. But when you can't taste, you have to rely on the other qualities of food, such as texture and temperature, and especially the differences between the two of them. The white bean and winter squash pureed soup achieves exactly that. We're taking the silkiness and creaminess of the soup and contrasting it with the crunchiness of walnuts and the spice of chili crunch. Now to be clear, when you lose your sense of taste, that doesn't mean that you lose the ability to sense spice, heat, salt, or pepper. So we're really gonna rely on those types of things to bring this all together. And now for the taste test of our white bean butternut squash pureed soup. Mmm, tastes like nothing. What a surprise. <laughs> Don't let that stop you from making this though. I'm sure it's delicious.